Yeah, welcome back. So, what do I want to do this lesson? Well, I want you guys to add a form looking something like this. That's the goal of it. Uh, where we have the week number. So, let's just go back here just to show you. Um, let's open the, the JS web apps. We have the two guys here. And if I click the edit button, click, I'll go in here and you'll see something like this for editing. And if I click cancel, I'll go back. So, the idea is now to actually add some kind of form information so we can start actually doing things like saving changes and deleting an actual week if we don't want it anymore. And then I have a disable enable to make it visible and not visible. So we can also play around with enabling, disabling single list items. This form right here, I want to start there. I just want to start talking about how to make a form inside uh, Angular material. That's the first lesson here. So. If you open up Angular Material and you go on to demos and you go on to input, here is an entire input form for you with all the types of input that you can almost uh, comprehend. And the cool thing is, as you start writing, like look at the first name here, it pops up. So it has an animation. Let's switch again. Whoop, it'll go down and up. So there's a lot of great animation. We have a date tag here. We can press the down button here and get a real nice date uh, animation. So everything here is actually ready. And what I pretty much have done is I've opened the view source and copied um, an input field here. That's pretty much all I've done. And then I've wrapped this inside a form. So let's look at the actual code. Oh, by the way, I actually were so nice this time to do, if you do a git checkout version 0208, uh, you'll actually get this code right here instead of you having to write it in manually or go to the next lesson. So I added this code in that version that you see right here. Okay, so I added a form. Now I want the form because I want to do a validation on it. So that's why I have the form as a wrapper. We'll get back to that in the next lesson. I just want to tell you that's why we have a form around all of this. In the examples on material, they don't have a form around it. And you don't have to but I chose to make one for validation purposes. And then I made a few styles doesn't matter. This is my first input field. And you can look at um, the page angular material to see why I did this. And I'll just scroll down a bit to show you this one is more interesting because here it actually has some errors popping up. Because we can do real time error validation in our code. And this is how you do that. Um, here in this case, he has a max length, max length, he has a required field. And let's look at our code to see what we actually did. So for this single block, which is the weak block, I'm saying I want an input field and I, it's required. So you need to have it there. And if you don't have it, you'll hit this message because the required ng message is right here. Okay. And I made a role as alert and I said it needs to pop up a message if any of this happens. It also says you need to have a minimum value of one. You can only have week one, you can't go lower than that. And you need to have a max week value of 43. And then I've made it different messages here depending on what of which of those I actually hit. And then I've assigned it to an NG model called editing week plan. Now this is a new model. We're not using it yet. But behind the scenes, this will be added to your scope, meaning that now you'll have start building a new week plan model that we can save later. And the type of this field is going to be number and the name of it is going to be week of year. The name is not that important right now, but I added it anyway. So now we have our first input field right here. And let's just look at what that actually is in the view. So if I go to my code here, it's actually this guy right here. Okay, so I'm certain I cannot put in any letters in here because it's, a, it's an input field, it's a number field. So I can't put in any letters. Now if I go above the 43, I'll actually get the messages down here. Please specify a week must be one to 43. Okay, let's go back to 33 instead as week and move away. And it's still there. But as soon as I save the changes, it'll actually be updated. And you could even specify that you want this to be updated right away. But as soon as I save the changes, this guy will actually be updated and validated again, if it's okay or not, let's put it back to five. So that was the first input field. Now you guys can check out the code. This is the second input field. Here instead, I'm using another model, of course, because this is the teaser. This is the one liner that you're seeing in the week view list. 
And that's the type of text and I'm saying you can't have more than 100. Because I set this length, it automatically using the angular material adds this little guy right here. That's pretty awesome. So I can actually watch how many characters I'm using. Another, just another cool feature. I could live without it, but it's just a cool feature. Going back to the code, what else do we have? Then we have some different messages depending. I also have the required guy here. So depending if it's required or not, or if it's a wrong length, you'll get the messages that you're seeing right here. Then we're having another one here, which is the switch. I don't need any validation here because it's either on or off, right? So that's the switch. And again, I'm binding it to a specific model. And again, it's the edit week plan because we're starting to build this week plan, um, edit week plan guy right here. Okay, so I'm just building a new week plan object that we can save and send as an update in a second in the next lesson. So here I'm saying enabled, yes or no. I can click this button as well. And then I actually have a small information if you clicked it or not. <laughs> so let's go into the code. It says disabled, not disabled right now and enabled now. And then I have the buttons down here, which we will talk more about in the next lesson. So see you next time.